In this problem, we're being asked to solve this radical equation for x. And this is a little bit more complicated uh, of an equation. We've got two radicals plus another number hanging out here. When we've tried to solve uh, radical uh, equations that have two radicals before, we put one radical on each side of the equal sign and then squared. We can try that here. It's going to get complicated because of this 3. And that's OK. What we're going to end up having to do is square the whole thing twice. It gets a little messy, but it's all really pretty straightforward algebra. Let me uh, show you how this works. I'm going to add this 2x plus square root of 2x plus 12 to both sides. And I'll rewrite that equation down here now. So we've got the square root of 8x plus 33. And then we've got 3 plus the square root of 2x plus 12. Now we're going to go ahead and square. Oops, I forgot my x there. Square both sides. And you'll notice this on the on the right here, we've got a binomial. So we're actually going to have to FOIL this. This is 3 plus the square root of 2x plus 12 times 3 plus the square root of 2x plus 12. So let's uh, FOIL that. The first terms, 3 times 3 is 9. The outside terms, 3 times the square root of 2x plus 12. Inside terms, also 3 times the square root of 2x plus 12. And the last term here is a square root of 2x plus 12 times square root of 2x plus 12. That's squaring that radical. So it's just going to be 2x plus 12. And all of that equals 8 x plus 33. So uh, it looks a little bit messy, and we still have radical signs, so you may be feeling we haven't gotten anywhere. But let's do some simplification now. Uh, let's see, I've got 9 and 12. That's 21 that I can subtract from both sides. That's going to give me 8x plus 12. 8x, not 81. And here, let's see, 3 times the square root of 2x plus 12 plus 3 times the square root of 2x plus 12 is 6 uh, times the square root of 2x plus 12. And then I've got a 2x here that I can subtract. So we'll subtract 2x. OK, so now I've got 6x plus 12 equals 6 times the square root of 2x plus 12. Not too bad. And we can actually factor a 6 out of both sides. So dividing both sides by 6, this is just going to be x plus 2 equals the square root of 2x plus 12. Now we're going to square both sides a second time, because we've got a radical alone over here. So we'll square this, and we'll square this. And you might see already we're going to get a quadratic equation. So uh, let's FOIL out x uh, plus 2 squared. Uh, you can double check my work on that, but I think it's going to be x squared plus 4x plus 4. So that's what we get on the left. On the right, we just get 2x plus 12. And now let's consolidate everything on the left here. So I'm going to subtract 2x, and I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. So I get x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. This is in a form where we can try factoring it. It's got a negative sign for that last term, so one of these has to be plus, and one of these has to be minus. It's got just x squared for the first term, so it's going to be x and x here. And let's see, uh, we need to multiply out to 8, and we need to add up to 2. So it seems like 4 and 2 would be reasonable. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. 
then we'd set each of these equal to zero and solve them. So our, our solutions, our potential solutions are going to be x equals negative four and x equals two. But remember, we've just squared twice here. Um, if you, even if you square only once, you've got to check these to make sure they're not extraneous solutions, see whether they work in this original equation or not. So I'm going to take these numbers and put them back in. Let's try the two. So 16 plus 33. So that's going to be the square root of 49 minus and 4 plus 12 to the square root of 16 equals 3. So that's 7 minus 4 equals 3. So it looks like the 2 works. That's a good one. Let's try the negative 4. So negative 24 plus 33 is going to be 9. So square root of 9 minus, and that's uh, 8. Sorry, negative 8 plus 12 is going to be the square root of 4 equals 3. And that comes out to 3 minus 2 equals 3. And that is not true. So this is an extraneous solution. So our one solution we got here was x equals 2. So that's some work with solving uh, some slightly more complicated radical equations.